Hey Scotty, I just finished cooking some beans and I'm ready to rewatch the Call of Trinity. You wanna join me? Ooh, that's much better. I guess some spaghetti western could wait a little bit. Why not? Hello everyone and welcome to another one of our Lazy Swim unboxing videos. The series where Scott and I take the time to unbox and read a car as well, letting you know if the product is truly really worth your time and money. So grab your favorite drink, sit down, lay back and relax as we dive into this unboxing. I'm your host Vlad, this is Scotty, and today we are diving into the bundle for Outlaws of Thunder Junction with its wonderful content. So thank you very much, Scotty, for that introduction. And I hope you're having a fantastic time and you've been enjoying this expansion. It's a really cool one. And I really like the outside of the bundle. I'm looking that at this beautiful, beautiful illustration. It just feels rustic and wonderful. So as we usually do, we will dive into it straight away. The bundle contains a total of 15 traditional foil and 15 regular basic cards, a spin down die for life counting the nine play booster packs an alternate art of the key to the vault the box in which it comes in some reference cards and that's about it so that's it and let's get cracking i think this so this is done in belgium and that's good because sometimes the cards manufactured sorry, outside of belgium so us tend to be mostly crumpled and Pringles. There you go. Anyway, I hope you're having a good one. We've just finished making our own car marketplace here. That is UK exclusive. So if you're interested in buying cars like these ones or selling cars like these ones and uh, for UK only for our users, well, you should be able to go at very friendly shops that could UK and find them there. And so that's it for the shameless plug. This is what we've been working so hard on. And this are the contents of this beautiful, beautiful box. So let's first have a look and the box proper it has the scene of the train heist and and that's really really nice just overall cute little box and uh, then you get the cutout counters <clears throat> done with a beautiful style and uh, it seems a little bit thicker than usual so i like that oh there you go tiny bones is here <laughs> that's one of my favorites right there and uh, yep now you go with the carbo cutout and then you have the nine booster packs the lens and the special card the reference card and the die so the die here funny enough it looks as if the die is, was supposed to be red but as usual the color and well the quality of the die varies significantly as it's printed in china it's kind of like an amber color there's some red to it but yes that's that's it and uh, yeah it's quite nice if you like die collecting there you go that's your die and then let's have a look at the alternate art to the key of of to the vault um i don't actually know that it's too different from the original one just looks a bit more um art artifacty i don't know how to say it <laughs> here let's see what it looks like yep just a bit more drawn out than the usual one that's uh, as if it was drawn more and then you get the beautiful beautiful full art lens that's very very nice one of each here i think i got two of each to be fair very very beautiful there you go so you get one of each of the full arts and one of each Oh, two of each of the normal ones. That's nice. So there you go. And then you get same for the non-foil. So that's very, very beautiful. I love how they transform certain elements of the picture itself to represent the mana symbol. That's <laughs> really, really nice. And if you're into collecting these lands, this is the product to get them from as they are assured. Usual. And then you get the reference cards, which are usually good for a beginner. And um, then you get the play boosters and we will dive right into it. As we've done already of an unboxing the play boosters, we won't go too much into the comments in the end commons and we'll just skip to the rare because we've seen most of the commons and most of the uncommons already so to speed things up but as usual yes this is one of those products that is quite nice to help you start getting your foot into collecting this expansion so we'll move on from there from the commons and the uncommons and we'll move on to the three steps I had, which we've seen before. Pretty decent spree card. I like spree cards quite a lot. I really love this idea for the set. Then we have a fierce retribution, uh, which we've seen before as well as a breaking news card. Drover Grizzly, which is a foil and swamp, and then a human Claire token. There you go. That was the first pack. As usual, this product just helps you get, get your foot into collecting. It's great for somebody who already knows a little bit about the game, but 
doesn't necessarily have a lot of cards to add to their collection and likes this expansion so this lets you start that collection in this expansion and just overall it's always a great value for the price in general caustic bronco is our rare here we've not seen it before it's a snake horse mount it's a two to the cost two is blank whenever it attacks reveal the top card via library and put it into your hand you lose life equal to the card's mana value if it isn't saddled otherwise each opponent loses that much life and you can sell it for three it's a um, dark confidence if i'm not mistaken and then we have a cruel ultimatum as the rear breaking news start your opponent sacrifice a creature this costs three cards then loses five life you return a creature card from graveyard to your hand throw three cards then gain five life so that was our deal to items and it's been reprinted into the breaking news then we have a foil malcolm the eyes another foil rare that's very very beautiful and then a desert land and the mercenary that was a good pack full of volume none of the cards were really the rares but still very very good always to see you hit quite a few rares and mythics in one pack it tends to be like that that the best ones tend to be in a crammed pack Ooh, our first rare is vadmir new blood is a 2-2 vampire rogue it costs two is blank whenever you commit a crime you put a plus one plus one counter on him but it triggers only once each turn and then as long as he has four or more plus one plus one counters on it it has menace and lifeline making it very very strong and it's not that hard to get that going so yeah very good in general and we have essence capture once more vengeful townsfolk and festering gold oh zombie rogue wow that is a beautiful beautiful zombie token right there very very nice hmm <clears throat> all right let's continue on right here um here we go here we go move on past the commons and past the uncommons oh rick of the many paths another one of those great commanders from this set is a 3-3 human wizard and it has teamer and its cost and it only costs three whenever you cast a modal spell and choose up to x where x is the number of times you choose a mode for that spell exile the top card of your library until the end of on your next turn and you may play it put a plus one plus one counter on Riku it gains trample until the end of turn and create a one one bluebird creature token with flying that's very very nice this is such a nice spin on moto cars and this will be a very very interesting commander to make then we have primal command that costs five it's a sorcery choose two target player gains seven life put target non-creature permanent on top of its owner's library target players shuffles their graveyard into their library and search your library for a creature card reveal put in your hand then shuffle it could be interesting in a limited game but it's not one of the stronger ones that we have strict trot and and swamp and then a beautiful art card which i always love these art cards they're quite quite nice if you collect them that's the place to go for play boosters because you don't find them anywhere else okie dokie let's go on and yep so far i think my favorite card that we've opened here has to be tiny bones uh, is one of my favorite ones so that we were very lucky to get that Ooh, obeka again splitter of seconds great with double upkeeps Ooh, and the lost jedi oh that is so nice a big score card this is one of them i really love this one it's the umezawa jete reimagined costs one generic you can equip it for one generic and whenever a quick creature deals combat damage for a charge counter on lost jedi and then remove a counter to choose one untap target land target creature can block this turn or put a plus one plus one counter on equipped creature and th this is just a real strong you can do it at any time you could do you know instant speed so very very good card i think i really love this and perhaps in commander i don't know that in constructive play it, there are so many cards for modern for example that can do stuff but perhaps somebody will figure out a way to do it and um explore or pioneer or we'll see murder very nice card scorching shot foil and an island and a meteorite token with a plot back so yeah very happy this is one of the cards i was looking forward to getting this and um the lotus ring i know the lotus ring it doesn't look that strong i just love the card so i think that's going to be a cool card to get if i can get it and the other one is the mana drain <laughs> that's that's for sure oh another joins up this is kellen i think we've seen all of them now 
I'm pretty sure we did. Um, not sure, but yeah. Anyway, this is the BAM version of Legendary Enchantment, and whenever it enters the battlefield, make sell a non-land card with mana value three or less from your hand. If you do, it becomes plotted, so it is free plot of a three or less. And whenever a legendary creature enters the battlefield under your control, you put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. The second part, unlimited, is always situational, but that first part is really strong. And we see Dust Bowl again. Then we have Binding Negotiation and Forlorn Frag. Wow, that was a very, very full, very full pack. And so far, this has been a lucky opening. I will say that. Quite a few mythics and uh, good cards. The rares. And yep. Well, I mean, to be fair, there's only one realistic mythic, but yeah pretty good one as at that for me and in the next bank what do we get what do we get oh jealous of the mind another good rare to see here wow another one legion extruder cost two artifact it's a vault card or a big score card when it enters the battlefield it deals two damage to any target and for two tap sack another artifact create a 3-3 coreless golem artifact creature token very nice and then we get repulse and an outlaw's fury and the Blackwoods. That's a blood token. I really like this. Very, very nice. Yeah, I love the art of this set. I will tell you that. I really do enjoy the art of this set. It's uh, very thematic, but as usual. But I don't know. I just I love the feel of it. It's really well done. All right. Alrighty, alrighty. Next, we have another Malcolm the Eyes. So this is our third one. Oh, Giza Hellraiser. Wow, this was a great, great, great unboxing so far. Reza the Hellraiser is a 4-4 human warlock, legendary creature, cost 5, war 2, pay 2 life, skeletons and zombies you control, get plus 1, plus 1, have menace, whenever you commit a crime, create 2, tap 2-2, two, two, black and blue zombie rogue creature tokens, which are, if I'm not mistaken, these ones right here, there you go, and this ability triggers only once each turn, so that's really, really nice, I really love this, it's a bit of a shame that the creation is, is um, linked only to creating a crime, but yeah, that is uh, incredible, incredible, then we have another apostasize, a low medic, foil, a forest, and an arc, card okay this is the last of this unboxing so far very 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 lucky and as it stands to be sometimes bundles can be a hit or miss but for most of the times for us bundles have always been the ones with the best goodies inside um so it seems all right marquisa another great new commander you can get a right down and then unscrupulous contractor and a planes and a mercenary token so that's it for this product i think we've gotten pretty pretty lucky we've gotten uh well two of the vault or you know big score cards i call it for the vault because they are from inside of a vault uh these supposed artifacts and play things that they found inside then you have uh gisa and yeah quite a significant amount of rares including some rares inside of the breaking news slide so as i said this product is great for anybody who is trying to start collecting outlaws of thunder junction and it's definitely worth the price and for the amount of things that you get inside hope you've enjoyed it let us know in the comments down below uh, if you agree with what we said or if you don't we'll read and reply to every one of them and until the next time we wish you a lovely day a blessed day be good be kind and we'll see you in the next video bye